Hello guys and welcome to What If George Washington Was a Girl. I saw a game on Steam called The Magical Land of Canada, um, made by the same creator of this game, but it said that before playing the new game it made sense to play this game first, so here we are, going to check out this game before playing that one. That one's real. out on Friday for you guys, but we'll give this game a go and see what it's about. War. Antarctica is under attack by the mad musical genius Mozart. Mozart has sent out the first part of her haunting sonata announcing plans to destroy Antarctica. The United Nations, a union dedicated to preserving peace, has sent two Templars, Knights of the UN, to the last known location Mozart was detected in, in order to stop the dark musician before the icy continent is lost forever. Okay, so I'm assuming this will all be about historical figures. The Icy Forest. Teddy, we're getting closer to thy villain. Teddy Rosebelt. How do you know we're getting close to Mozart? Georgia Washington We're being trailed hastily Eyes ever wonder Sprong sprong We're being followed. What? What are they? Mozart's underlings, insidious creatures crafted of diabolical musical magic. They work for Mozart. Oh no! What should we do? Continue forth, valiantly, Teddy. No harm can come from these simpletons. Our target lies ahead. Shouldn't we take her by surprise? I heard she's strong. Maybe we should prepare more, no? Evil music playing. Halt, villain! Mozart, Mozart, the dark musician. Hmm, <laughs> Templars, the UN sent their dogs. They mustn't see me as much of a threat, seeing as you're merely Class B, Teddy and Georgia. Pfft. We're more than enough for the likes of you. Lest ye tem tamper with thy loyalties, Merely a centerpiece of ye unruly ways and demeanour. Pardon? Unsheath thy weapon. We must take this nigh any further, lest thine self be true. What the heck is she saying? Oh. Here, add this to your translator. Oh, thank you. Ye old English. Here, you can have it back. Oh, you can hang on to that. I have a ton. Hanging out with her, can you imagine how many I need? Yeah, I bet. Okay, I'll head back over there now. Okay, I'll see you. 
I said prepare yourself, villain. We are here to stop you. Ah, okay. That's much better. Uh, just try to stop me, dogs. Take this. Hey! Teddy! Don't worry about me, but you have you have to defeat her yourself. Bring it on, Georgia. An exciting and stunningly choreographed fight scene with thrills and intense action breaks out between Georgia and Mozart, with Georgia getting the other hand as she leaps on the stage. That is enough of that. It's over for you and your plans. You think you can stop me? You have no idea of the planning, the time, or my resolve. Nothing will stop me from destroying Antarctica. Why are you planning on destroying Antarctica? Wouldn't you like to know? Was it the penguins? That's for me to know and you to find out. Except you won't. Catch! <laughs> Curses. Looks like she's escaped us, penguin. Quack. You're right. I need to find Teddy. Teddy! Oh, hey, Georgia. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Can you pull me out, though? So she threw a penguin at you and escaped. That's cold. We have to report this to the UN. There's something more to this mission we aren't seeing. Let's go to the Night Gale. Her place is close. What? We're going there? Isn't there a better place we can report to? No. We must make haste. This penguin. Something about it tells me we are running out of time. Oh no. I bet it's bandaged off. No, Teddy. You're still injured. Keep that there. I need you healed as soon as possible. But you know what happens, Georgia. That one time I had a paper cut, the night gale forced me into two weeks of recovery. Could you imagine what she'll do if she sees this? Fear not, Teddy. This penguin conspiracy is far more important than anything you're thinking about. I have a bad feeling about this. The Night Gale Tower. Maybe she's in here. Let's go. No. We have to signal her lamp. Follow. Georgia and Teddy. What is this? No, nothing. We just found it. Outside. We wanted to help clean the environment from litter. Do you have a garbage can? No. Keep it. Use it to heal someone you might come across. You must heal anyone at any time. Eat every time of the day. Georgia! What brings you two here? To me? The Night Gale? It couldn't be about this bandage. Your information. We have this penguin. Though I don't mind penguins, I am not a penguin doctor. I deal with helping humans. Give the majestic creature to my assistant. Okay, we have information about the Mozart case and needed help from a higher tier Templar. Yes, I heard her evil sonata. So you were in charge of the case. The UN must trust you too to handle this more important case. I have something to discuss with you in private. But first, Teddy! What? What? Since you are interested in medicine, seeing as you have that bandage, you must become my protege. What? It must happen. Come with me now. Georgia, please speak with my assistant and uh, as I take Teddy. Ah! Hello, Georgia. I am one of the Nightgale's assistants. Greetings. Um, do we meet yet? 
not to be rude, but you all look identical. Yes, we have. Here, let me take this penguin from you. Follow us inside. You are free to look around. Speak to me when you're ready. The night girl has something she wishes for me to speak with you about. Of, of a sensitive nature. What's this? So the exit. Blue door, penguin, assistant. Wooden door and a lamp. Enough. The penguin seems happy to be here, probably because the night gale is bird themed. You see someone bandaged head to toe in what looks like a recovery room. The bandaged person shows you a crude drawing of a moon they were drawing. You're confused. You see a terrible scene with the night gale and Teddy. You decide not to get involved as you don't want to incur the night's. The Gale's Wrath. You should talk with the Night Gale's assistant before leaving. So what did the Night Gale want to tell me? Miss Gale knew about your mission and was hoping you would stop her. Huh? What's that mean? Here, take this. One of the other Templars went missing. This is her last known location. Find her and ask her to return here. Do not mention this to the UN. What's this about? Miss Gale trusts you and Teddy. Something bigger is happening. Far bigger than, the, than Mozart. I knew it. The missing Templar is also someone Miss Gale trusts. Go to that location and bring her back here. In the meantime, will help you with Mozart situation. I should get Teddy. Teddy will stay here with us. Please hurry and find the missing Templar. The dance village. I'm finally here. Time to investigate and find the missing Templar. Meow. There's nothing in the alley. It's a wanted poster for a criminal terrorizing the town, known as the Carver. Hello. What should I say? Elefanto. Um, Elefanto to you too? Do not speak elephant to me. You can't use our words. What's up, my dudette? Hey, are you a resident here? That we be. That we be. Been here for many a moon. Have you seen any Templars around here? Templars. Knights of the UN. We preserve peace. You have to know what Templars are. There was a gal around here. She had stupid hair. Is that who you were looking for? What? Stupid hair? This isn't... that isn't helpful. What do you expect? Do you want us to be sane with a shoe stealer stalking us? Shoe stealer? Yes, there's a shoe stealer. They've been stealing our shoes. We've been calling them the Carver. There was a Templar here recently that was in charge of looking for them. Wait. Did you say a Templar? Yes, a Templar. They are Knights of the UN who... Yes, I know. Where are they? We don't know. They disappeared like... One day ago? No. Two days ago. Two days ago? One day ago. One or two days ago? One times two is two days ago. Here. Take this used toothbrush. <laughs> I don't want that used toothbrush. You take this used toothbrush and never speak to us again. What the heck? So we got a toothbrush. Nothing in the alley. Mow. You can't find anything in the trash can.
It's the wanted poster for a criminal terrorizing the town and the Takava. Elefanto. Oh, is that a toothbrush? Yeah. And you're just giving it away? I wasn't doing anything with it. Can you expect to pass it to me? What are you talking about? Listen here, bub. You listen here well. I will give you this fish. You know what you can do with this fish. I don't want a fish. You give this fish to that cat over there. That is a wise cat. You have questions, it has your answers. I'm not talking to a cat. And I don't want that fish. Oh, so you tried to force a used toothbrush on me. And when I tried to help you by giving you this cat gift friendly fish, you deny me. I thought Templars were supposed to be kind and welcoming. Give me the fish then. Can I have the toothbrush? Here, take it. You try to force the toothbrush upon me because I am an elephant. I'm leaving now. Cat. Hey cat. Meow. You want this fish? Meow. Meow. Meow wow. Meow wow. You speak cat? Whoa. So you do talk. What do you think of that? It's neat. Cat usually can't talk. You want this fish? That person in the elephant suit said you want it. And you are wise. What is your name? George or Washington? Georgia. Listen here, Georgia. That person is not a real elephant. Yeah, I know. I said they're in a suit. They are a cheat and a liar. I do not want that fish. But they are not lying about me being a wise. That's good. Everyone around here is hard to talk to. I need some help finding someone. I know of who you are looking for. But first, you must realise something, Georgia. The people here, they are afraid. Do not judge them so harshly. I know. There's a shoe stealer or something called the Carver. Look, I was being nice. I accepted their stupid gifts. Those gifts were not stupid. They brought you and I together. Look, Georgia. I see things around here, around this village and the person you were looking for was investigating the shoe stealer. Where are they? I saw them one night, in that alley, Georgia, I need you to wait in the alley until night. You need to find and defeat the shoe stealer, then you will find your friend. Do you know where they are? If I, shop, if I stop this shoe stealer, will you tell me? I don't know where they are, but believe me, you will find them if you find the shoe stealer, the carver. I'm a wise cat. Go now, Georgia. It's night now. So I just wait for this carver thing in the alley. Where is that cat? It better not be this, this shoe stealer and setting me up for a trap. But it's a cat, so I could just like throw water on it and get and get it to stop. Georgia Washington. Who's there? He he he. Who who indeed, Georgia. Show yourself. You think me foolish? You are nothing but garbage beneath me. How do you know my name? Are you that cat? I am no feline, Georgia. You and I are alike. Me and you, you and me. We complete each other. Are you the shoe stealer? The carver? Is that what this village calls me? Do they know this because of you? What are you talking about? All my life I waited, watching you, and now you are here, standing before me. I thought my plan had failed when another Templar showed up. What? What happened to the Templar? Tell me. That stupid hair, shorty. Yes, she tried to fight me, but... What did you say? Oh, frick. She's escaped. Be seeing you, Georgia, real soon. Wait, get back here, villain. 
trash. You get back here. Call me short one more time. You think I can't take you tied up. I know your tricks now, Carver. Bonnie. Huh? Georgia. Hurry. Get these ropes off me. I'm going to destroy that fool. Looks like they're gone. What happened? I was sent on a mission here to take out this villain called the Carver. I was wiping the floor with him, with that idiot, until they caught me by surprise, tying me up and locking me in that room. Surprise? How? They knew my one weakness. How they knew, I have no idea. No one is, no one except me and a few people in the UN know. Hmm, interesting. What? The Nightgale sent me here to find you, told me not to tell the UN. Keep a secret. Something is up. There is a bigger mystery at play here. The Nightgale, huh? Let's go. See what's up. Yes. Also, that Carver person totally knew you or something. All they talked about was you. Super creepy. I know. I have no idea who or what that is. But it's not important right now. Let's head out. So we're just leaving that Carver here? Fear not. That Carver is nothing compared to what's going on right now. I called in an, an evacuation team to get the villagers to, safe, to a safe spot. Then later we'll come back to find this villain. You got lucky this time, Carver. But I will find you soon. What? You just ex expect me to tell you my secret weakness? Ha. I was just wondering how someone managed to trap you. Or to tell you the truth, that Carver was actually quite strong. I was stronger, of course, but still. Super weird they knew about me. Who could it even be? Georgia! Who's that? Oh, it's just Teddy. Georgia, I found you. I managed to convince the Nightgale to let me find you. Do you have any idea what would happen if I failed? Oh, hello, Bonnie. Teddy. Wait. You were the missing Templar? Georgia had to rescue you. Bonnie. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad to see it, Bonnie. That must have been a powerful foe. Uh, Georgia, the Night Gale, wants us to report to Beethoven about Mozart. She'd like to set up a meeting. Yeah. She'd like to set up a meeting. What is going on, Teddy? Beethoven is class S. You expect me to know? I could barely keep up with everything she was saying. But I'll keep this short. Keep this what? What did you say, Teddy? I mean, I'll keep this brief? Yeah, you keep it brief. Look, I'm going to the night, Gale. You two go do whatever. See you, Bonnie. Bye, Bonnie. Yeah, yeah. We have to go now, Georgia. We don't want to be late. Wonder where they are meeting. Wonder where they are. The meeting time was 10 minutes ago. Probably busy doing class S stuff. Hey, I forgot to tell you. Something like broke into your house when you were gone. That's weird. Wait, what? Yeah, it was like a raccoon or something. They said. You're just telling me now. What are you getting mad at me for? I said I forgot and now I'm telling you. That's a big deal, Teddy. Oh, they're calling. Quick, get professional. Tell me more about this afterwards, Teddy. Georgia and Teddy. Hello. Greetings, Beethoven. Hello, Beethoven. So... The night girl told me about Mozart. Very troubling. So she was hoarding penguins. Yes. She is quite strong too. Her power level is almost triple than what we could when we have on record. Do you think she is using these penguins for power? I do not know. We searched her base but found nothing of value. We freed the penguins and took out all her musical minions before leaving. We would definitely need more fighting power on this mission going forward. Were you able to track her after she escaped? Unfortunately, no. 
This seems to be a bigger problem than originally thought. The timing could not have been worse, too. What do you mean? The Grand Master's Summit is in two days. Please come back to the base. We will need you two here. You may need to come with us to the summit to report on Mozart. There will be representatives there from Antarctica. What? The summit? We will be there as fast as we can. Right, Teddy? But... Wonderful. Oh, Janice wanted to speak with you. I will see you here. Good day. Goodbye, Beethoven. What, Janice? I hate that chick. What was that, Teddy? I said I hate you, Janice. You hear me? You want to fight? Yeah, I do. Bring it on. What do you want, Janice? Look, you didn't hear anything about any mission, any missing Templars, have you? Uh, no. Haven't heard anything. What's up? You can't lie to me. I'm a rank A. I'm higher than you, and I'll and I'll tell. No, Janice. We didn't hear anything. This seems like kind of a big deal. Why are you pestering us? Just tell me if you heard anything unusual. Got it? You guys were hanging out with the Night Gale, weren't you? I would probably report an upper class, not you if I did. What's your guy's problem? You, Janice. You're a terrible, terrible person, and I hate you. Hey, screw you, buddy. I'm out. Man, I hate her so much. Why does she get to be class A? This is very strange, Eddie. We need to keep our guard up, even within the base. Anyways, now that we can, do you want to take a boat or a plane? We get to use company credits since it's a business trip. A plane, definitely. Let's get fancy food and clothes, too. Yes, we need a break. Let's enjoy our time as much as we can now, as I sense this is the start of a massive, potentially world-ending saga ahead. Oh no. So, I don't know if that was the full game, but it was chapter one. Oh, Bonnie was Napoleon. He was a Florence Nightingale. Makes sense. Yeah. Beethoven. Obvious. Janice. Brutus. Interesting. Mozart, Mozart. Who's the carver? Uh, we don't know. Interesting. I like that. Yes, yeah, that. that I, again, I don't know if this is the full game or just part one, but that was very enjoyable. I like the story. I like the the, the carver aspect of it. I like um the art style was beautiful. Um. What was that? An unknown location. Mozart, I found it. Okay, so that was chapter one, this is chapter two, I'm guessing. Or is this just like a post credit thing? We'll play and find out and then I'll talk more about the game. Another piece at last. Soon, we will have our revenge. Georgia, even you will be unable to stop me now. Time for the next part of my grand symphony. I believe I will enact it at... The Summit. That was a post-credit thing. Alter Historia Part 1. End. Alright, so that um, that new game, um, again I forgot what it's called, about Canada, I'm guessing that, uh, that is uh, chapter 2. But yeah, as this first chapter goes, very enjoyable, big fan of the story, I'm heavily invested, looking forward to playing part 2. Um, I will get that game up as soon as I can on the channel, hopefully Friday. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. 
um, big fan. Um, again, All Stars beautiful, gameplay wise brilliant, um, storyline. I'm I'm very well immersed. I'd like to see what happens at the summit, who the carver is, um, if any more famous people get involved. Lots to lots to think about and lots to lots to be excited about. Definitely worth checking out and seeing for yourself. Um, and looking forward to the next chapters. Hopefully, there's you know quite a few chapters because I'm I'd love to have a deeper dive into the story, find out a lot more, and have more time to you know see the characters grow and develop and everything. So yeah, really looking forward to it. I will play the second part probably today and then try and upload it for Friday like I said. But yeah, feel free to check the game out. I'll, I'll leave a... Sorry, just appreciating the music. That music is very good. I don't know if it's based off of um, Mozart or Beethoven or that sort of stuff or if it's just something thrown together that's that's a very good soundtrack but yeah th thanks everyone for watching and i will see you all very soon